Generic greetings and welcome back to Where Ships Conquer the Skies. In the previous episode, we made the pig. In fact, we made several of them. As you can see, they are a fairly small vessel, under a thousand cost, and they have two forward facing aerial torpedoes. They have a little lookout there and then basically stuff to keep it afloat and working. And we haven't yet fired anything in anger, so what I'm going to do is just unpause a second, build this second pig, or actually build the one, two, three, four, fifth pig, and then we are going to attack. Now, where do I want to go and attack? Well, this guy ideally, but what I'm going to do is send a spy to both of these, because then I can see exactly what they've got. And I also have the money to uh, build another pig, because uh, why not? Although, it might be... It might be advantageous to build a couple of bot flies because if you go full on one thing rather than mixing things up, then you can get overwhelmed if they have something that you can't fight. Um, immediately though, this is now being taken over by someone else. If we go to View City, we can see they have um, no structural defences and only two vessels there, so that's quite easy to attack. This one here, View City, you can see they've got three of uh, three rocket ships. Actually, you see the three rockets there and uh, oh, two structural defences. So what I'll do is I will attack down here. So we'll go to evade and... So evade? <laughs> invade. And we will... Attack! So we are massively overpointed when it comes to... Uh, well, what they have... Hell's bells, what is this? This is something that's been uh, made by just the AI. And as you can see, or, or in, in the game previously, I don't know whether it's been made by someone. It's just loads of cannons, so that's useful. Uh, the pigs, we're going to put right back here. Uh, their service ceiling is actually a lot higher than what would be typically required, to be honest with you, because, well, you just don't need them that high. Uh, the This one can go about there. This one will go right to the bottom because I don't want to get shot off that flak, and this one will hopefully get shot off these. So let's just start the fight, and immediately these, I will say, target that one over there. And these ones, I will say, actually, you know, these three target the ground thing. Because if that gets close, then it will start doing a lot of damage. And that one can target that one there. And then we'll unpause it. And immediately, you can see shots are out whizzing through. Uh, these ones have not yet got a target, but I will move them up. The problem with the aerial torpedoes, very, very, very limited arc of fire. Although, for whatever reason, this has decided to come down. Uh, the aerial torpedoes, however, are not guided. That is their big issue, though. If they're not, they're not guided, so we will say instead, this one can attack that. Um, these guys, we will come down to there. That one will come down to there. And the reason we're doing that is because, quite frankly, if this gets behind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, if this gets behind us, we could have an issue. This is actually a boarding vessel, but because we've just destroyed that, I mean, yeah, that is a, just a massive explosion. Uh, you can see that we now have um, this one that's, uh, that's surrendered. So that's a victory. We'll go for a gentle takeover, and then immediately we are going to invade this thing here because that's their home city, and if we take that, then they're out, and then they can't join with other people. So, you know, that's going to be advantageous. They have got their boarding vessel once again, and then they've also got a... A structure down here which looks like some sort of temple type thing but that's actually a gun on the top rather than um, <laughs> something else so let's move this uh, big beastie back to probably back to there the other one can go to with there and then these I'm just gonna put pretty much on the ground as if they were uh, hovering rather than flying I do think they yeah I think it's accurate their name and uh, these lights obviously are shining this way it's all washed out that's why the colors washed out there but I, li <laughs> I like that um, they do look like sort of hover pigs <laughs> <laughs> Good old hover pigs. So those will be targeting that one there. We need to get the boarding vessel out sooner rather than later. If they take that over, I will be screwed. I will also target that thing at the back with my myriad of um, pig vessels. Come on, pigs. Yeah, we go. The pigs are now firing. Um, this one is doing a bit of a scattershot approach there. I will have to... I'm going to move this one down and, uh, quite frankly, move these back over because we really do need to destroy this. Because uh, if it boards this one, we are, yeah, let's say, certainly, um, well, certainly at a disadvantage. Although we do have some defences in there and some barracks, so good luck to them. And it looks like it's just fallen out the sky. Yes, it looks like we managed to hit the suspendium chamber. It has now fallen out. One of the things I haven't shown you, uh, if I go to uh, Ram, you can see the on the back here. See that? The flag? The flag actually shimmers as it should. That's good. I like that. Uh, there's lots of secondary explosions, and I think that's because, yeah, aerial torpedoes win. Okay, so we'll do a gentle takeover, and there we go. We've managed to take these out. Excellent. So... This guy can obviously, if he wanted to, um, easily assault uh, me that way. But, okay. Uh, build ships, pigs. Uh, that's going to be a problem. 
um, if he starts assaulting down the bottom. However, what I want to do is just uh, consolidate, get rid of this guy uh, on this island. So he, well, that's what's worrying me. He's building these ro rocket ships and uh, more defenses. We really need to take those out sooner rather than later. Obviously, the advantage of the pigs with aerial torpedoes is that they do a fairly decent amount of damage to um, to those things. Uh, looks like this guy at the bottom, the eyeball guy, has reinforced here. So if I move off, I can guarantee he'll come and attack. What I'm doing here is basically just consolidating. I'm waiting until I've got enough money to start building up more pigs. Keep building the pigs, and also we will uh, then go over to defences on each of the things that I've taken. And if there's not a defence there, I will say build building. Uh, Black Citadel, fairly cheap, fairly, uh, fairly cheap building here. And then we'll put a couple of these in, just so we have some defences in other places. Oh, this guy's moving back over because his south is getting attacked. That is interesting. So I'm going to let that guy do whatever he needs to do. I'm going to then build this defences here. I say build, I'm actually going to repair the one that was there and then move it up top because it being where it was didn't really sit right with me. And then we'll repair that and I'll wait for him to get attacked again. Actually, no, it looks like he's moving over. This green guy's probably going to back up as soon as that happens, yes. But what I'm going to do is now attack that. And yeah, see that? As soon as I move, this guy comes towards me, which is a problem. However, I think I can build... Uh, do I want to build some pigs there? I don't want to build some pigs. I want to build a building, and I'll build a black citadel. And I'll build it there. Um... I'm not going to get back in time, am I? I think I did. No, I didn't get back in time. Darn, that's a shame. So it looks like I'm fighting these two vessels of theirs, three vessels of theirs, with just one of mine. Damn it. I thought I had the timing right. The pigs are not overly fast. That is an issue. That is an issue. Anyway, as you can see, we have a defensive structure. In terms of ammo capacity, it's got fairly decent ammo, um, but I want to probably put it on... Actually, standard fire will be, will be fine. Um, I don't know what we'll target. Actually, we'll target this one because it has a dust tank. And when that tank goes blows up, yep, it then starts to fall out of the sky. And because of where it was placed, I thought hopefully the tree would split it in half. And that didn't exactly happen, but it did do a lot of damage. And we've just taken the, uh, <laughs> the heraldry off the side there. Good shot, good shot. And... Let's just target that one there. There is another ship, and I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over there. It's a, it's a melee ship, and it's not actually coming towards me because, as you can see, there's trees either side of it, so it probably can't get in. The only place it could go would be here, but uh, looks like that's not going to matter. I'm going to now put this on aimed fire because we are, well, we've got one ship to verse, and yeah, um, plus 10 generic win points. <laughs> we have uh, certainly done the number on these guys. So I'm just going to speed up to max speed, quite frankly. And we've just taken the <laughs> we've just taken the saw off the front. And if I had anything going for it, it was the melee weapon. That's a Vic Terry. So uh, what we'll do, uh, because that was Vic and Terry, we'll move the pigs. Actually, we've got two pigs there. We will check the defences. It's another... Yeah, it's, that's fine. I'm going to say build building, another black citadel. I want a couple of these in, you see, on each area. Now that guy is retreating. I will... Do I need to repair any of these? I don't think I do. Right, I'm just going to invade then. I'm just going to invade. Um, Quite frankly, I think I have... Oh, can I move to there? No, I can't. You can move to there. Let's join up. No, let's move to there. Staging ground here. That's a good a top tip, actually, that um, I recommend you utilise these little... I call them staging grounds and not, but that's what I'm using them as. These points here, these are nests that can spawn. And there's giant bees there, you can see. So you've got bees, you've got um, spiders, you've got pirates, stone guardians, black dragons, uh, clockwork wasps. Never seen them, I don't think. Things like that. And um, the thing is, you can move to them. So if you need to group up, don't group up at a city because you immediately attack as soon as you get there. You want to group up just before, like that. And then uh, basically take over this. Uh, without any great incident. Oh, they have an airfield. That could be a problem because I don't have much that can take that out. Anyway, we'll move the pigs down the bottom there. Again, they are washing out the ground, but it does look very nice, that. Look at the detail on that. Look at that. When I move this closer, if I move that above, see that? That's very nice. The pig. What do you call a group of pigs? Is, is it a herd? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, I'm just going to put all the pigs down the bottom. 
It's not a sty, that's... Let's do. Um, that'll do us. Start. And immediately shots out. As you can see, look at that. Look at the assault. <laughs> Good grief. And it looks like immediately, secondary explosions on the back there. That's good. Um, the planes are attacking. I'm going to move this down. So I want them to target the planes. That says victory, victory woo. But that's because we've just blown... Oh yes, uh, yeah, that, that is a victory. Okay, uh, gentle takeover then. There's no reason not to do a gentle takeover. The question is, do we want to invade this guy's area? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, we could just take out the stuff oop north, uh, send spite to both of those. In terms of money, we've got loads. Remember, I have put this on breezy easy, so I know that this isn't like exactly representative of what you normally fight. But I wanted just to uh, just try different things out in different buildings. That's a fairly easy fight, View City. Uh, that would... Ooh, that's a big gun that they've got mounted on there. That wouldn't be a fairly easy fight because they've got huge cannons. But that... Ah! Uh, is that? I thought, no, I thought that was a targeting computer. It's not. It's a. It's a flat gun. So they should have. Um, yeah, heavy cannon. Yeah, that's why they've got it. Heavy cannon. So um, what I'll do? I will wait until these are now sorted. Let's just go to defenses. Just check that that is. Yeah, that defenses are sorted. Defenses will be in here. Just the one though. Yes. Yeah, so I will build a building, Black Citadel. Get that placed in there. And. Defences, yeah, that's fine, yep. Oh, fire caused by foreign agent has destroyed the fragment of a valiant rampart at Skirrell. What? I mean, to be fair, we don't even have anything there to, take, uh, to destroy, but I think what they meant is this. Oh, yes, it was these. So, we will... <sighs> Do I want to refit it, or is that full? That's full. That's actually okay. Right, so just uh, build a building then. Uh, white lookout? That might be a little bit over the top. Um, <laughs> build building. There's the turret. That was a bit of a naughty piece of kit. If you want to defend something, you place that. Um, build building. Mm, it's just going to be the little, the little citadel thing, I think. There we go. Okay, so I think... Take these guys out as the way forward. That guy's going to come and attack me. I don't like that. Yeah. Someone needs to deal with that green guy. He's got a quite fast reactionary force as well. Um, send spy, send spy. I just need to see what they've got. Because then we can start planning in for the future and what we're going to build. Defences now. We have some defences. What is he going to attack us with? If he's only sending the Greyhound, then I'm not going to bother. Yeah, that's the only thing. No, no, he's got. Oh, he's got two of them. Two ram ships, essentially. Oh, it's got a cannon. Uh, let's just put one more black citadel in here. Then, quite frankly, I'm not really too bothered what he comes at us with. Let's go to build ship. Actually, what's got the? Where's the uh, biggest shipyard? Large shipyard. Oh, it is this one. So build ship. There's the ant, the lank, which was terrible, the ram, which was better than it should be, generic carrier didn't work, bombard, oh, I like the bombard, let's build a bombard. Actually, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? Design ship, open a design, bombard V2. Let's make it look less bricky. I think that's the plan. So... What about like a like something like yeah yeah let's go with that okay I have a plan it's not a good plan but they never are so ships and decoration got these curves here which we can put on oh I was gonna make it sweep up and down but you can't I'm afraid I cannot oh I can't put anything on there oh yeah because of the the size of it and the way it works oh, that's a shame. So let's go find him which find many fire doors on this. Um Oh that's a shame. Okay. Well I could move them up. Like that. And like that. 
I don't think we need fire doors, but we'll, we'll put them on nonetheless. Um, so you put, like, say, a curve there. I like the idea of the domes on the top. Mm, I don't know if that works or not. Maybe if we split them up a bit. That looks a bit better. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, and then we can... Have, like, brass pipes doing that. And that. Again, we're just trying to... Oh, why can't I put that there? Oh, just because of the way the thing is. I'm just trying to make it a bit... A uh, bit more unique. Is there a T section? No. Abstract figurehead. Oh. It's weird. Hmm. Um brass pipe horizontal. Perhaps. That goes into No. Can't have a large bow on it. Can't go into a lantern. <laughs> Just an end piece. No, that's not going to work. Probably just go inside. In fact, you know what? I'm going to remove these. And have it as more of a... Abstract figurehead, I think, there. Nah, it goes behind it, though. Nah. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it so it's... Um... It's all like brass piping and such. We'll try to make it a little bit more random as well. So. Like that. Well, the ends. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible. And then, um. Something like that. And what about down here? Actually, let's remove that one. We'll put a end piece on there. Yeah, it looks a bit more random. We're trying to make it all higgledy piggledy, so it um, like doesn't really make much sense, like what they've done. But that's the point. And that can go along to say that bit. Yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun trying these like different bits out. <laughs> Front end like that. I wonder if we can curve round. It can't. No. Which make total sense. Have a bottom bit there. And There we go. <laughs> um, let's paint it. Let's paint it um, more a more fitting colour. Don't think we're going to find a fitting colour, are we? Oh, there we go. There you are. That decoration's old hat. A meteor of flames. Um, the flames seem to fit well with the design, not really on there physically though. Ornate gold. No. I'm not going to put any gold leaf on it. Wooden panels. What's that, a gold dish? Voltaic cells? Oh, cool. Wow, I'd, actually I didn't realise there was this many... Bits in this section. Oh, it goes forever. Uh, gas tanks. No. Brass capsules. Oh, yeah. There we go. They sort of fit. Mm hmm. Another couple of brass bits. Either side. I don't like them there. An apparatus. Don't know what it is. It's just an apparatus. Two 
do I want a flag? Hell, that is a flag. <laughs> See that coming a mile away. Um, that was quite nice, actually, that bit. I mean, where can it go? Hmm. No, I really that doesn't look daft. There would be nice. But is it because these are in the way that I can't? Yes, it was. I'll put that there then because that looks quite nice. I like that. Um. I think we're sort of getting to the oversaturation point now. In fact, I think less is more with some of these bits. Yeah, with them bits it is, certainly. They look okay in um, small sections. In fact, if I put them near the pipes, they might look quite good. Yeah, they look better when they're near the pipes, because it looks like they're connecting into it. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. We get there. Well, we got there in the end. Right, I think that's about fine. So, save the design. Um, it's going to be the version 3. So, all we've done, really, is just make it look prettier. Uh, we can't build that yet. We don't have the cash money. But, we will unpause it and get it shortly. You can see the blue guy's attacking him. And, boy, yeah, they've taken that out. What have they got? All kinds of ground vehicles. In fact, loads of them. So, that means I'm not going to have to worry about that. <laughs> There's no way I can, they can attack me. So we'll go for build a ship, and we're going to build the uh, Bombard version 3, which is the much prettier Bombard now. Well, prettier depends on your definition of that, I guess. But, um, yeah. I'm... Do you see what green does? Green's just attacking and moving things. Yeah. You can move to there. And there we are. We now have a much prettier bombard. When it's there uh, landed, I will have a look. Defences. And there it is. Yeah, there it is. And if we go to... Where is it? Outside view? No, I can't do it from here. But that's it there. Yeah. I didn't realise just how much I wanted all of these parts before this, uh, this, this latest patch. I have tried ones on the mod previous, uh, different mods previously, but, um, I don't know, I either didn't get away with it or just wasn't, at the time, maybe interested, that's, uh, that's maybe a possibility, but, yeah, I like these ones. It just gives it a little extra and makes things less blocky. I mean, you know, it still is, that's still just basically a couple of, a couple of rectangles, but just adding these little frills and just the changes to make, like, these, um, these guns like shift in and stuff. Yeah, it just it just gives it a little bit extra. Hmm, plus 10 generic approval points. So we'll leave it there and um, pause it. Next episode, we will probably go ahead and take these guys out on the north, oop north. And then uh, we basically have to just start working down, um, down south. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.